Got it. Hey everyone, it's Jenna Melanson from Canadian Beats Media, and I'm here with Connor Brooks, the drummer from the Vancouver-based rock band Chase the Bear, for our newest segment of Zoomies. If you're not sure what Zoomies is, it's a fast-paced interview designed for those of us who have a low attention span, but still want to learn about amazing Canadian bands and artists. Welcome, Connor. Thank you so much. And I've decided that for this interview, I'm going to try to get through it without saying the word like, because my dad was, my dad said, you're not Britney Spears. You say like every second word what in your interviews. And then my partner told me that I say, you know, uh, a lot. So I'm going to try to do this whole thing without saying like or, you know. Okay. I say so and um a lot, so I get you. <laughs> <laughs> At least so is a sentence builder. Yeah, you're you're right. <laughs> okay. So first off, care to give us a brief introduction to Chase the Bear? Absolutely. Chase the Bear is a rock band from Vancouver, BC. We originally started in the small northern B British Columbia town of Fort St. John. That's kind of where we all grew up. Okay. Um, we moved down to Vancouver separately and then met each other. Uh, and this was about seven years ago. Okay. So we specialize in kind of this brand of classic rock inspired music mixed with indie rock mixed with pop music mixed with soul music mixed with r&b music um yeah I, I i really like it okay uh where did the name chase the bear come from it was our guitarist and singer's mom she thought oh. of it <laughs> yeah oh. yeah um they're brothers and we we're thinking of a name as most bands do, as all bands do, mm -hmm. and which is one of the hardest things, especially because in the age of the internet, you don't have the luxury of accidentally being the same name as someone else. Yeah. So if you find a good name for something, you look it up and then, oh, there's a band in Sweden with, uh, you know, like, 200 likes on their Facebook page. They don't have any songs out, but still you don't want to have that future conflict. You don't know how that's going to go. Mm -hmm. So uh, our bassist Brady, he and I have played in bands for a long time. I've played in about three bands with him since we were 19 years old or something like that. And Brady, for every band that I've played with him and he said I want to name the band Hug the Bear and every time I said that's a terrible band name we're never naming the band Hug the Bear give it up and we started switching out the verbs until the guitarist and singer's mom was like what about Chase the Bear yeah and we were like, that's it perfect you have unveiled your new album Honey what is your favorite track on the album my favorite track is, I might be biased, but it's five more minutes. I sing it. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's a good reason. Um, what was one highlight during the making of the album? Uh, hmm. Ooh, highlights, highlights. The, the day where we recorded the drums, I guess we... Uh, or actually, it was over two days. We recorded 12 songs. Okay. And it was the most drums I've ever played in my entire life. I sweat buckets. I played <laughs> harder than I ever had in my life. And yeah, it was a very rewarding experience. Danny is a really great producer to work with. He's a professional and he's a drummer. And it was it was really nice yeah okay you're playing an album release show tonight 
at Wise Hall. Mm -hmm. Describe your live show in five words. Ooh, five words. Here we go. <laughs> Energetic. Explosive. Fun. Um, sweaty. Uh, loud. Okay. Sounds fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah. Okay. So the next five are just for fun. Go as quick as you can. Okay. Let's go. What was the first concert you ever attended? The Black Eyed Peas. What is your go-to karaoke song? Um, ooh, what is it? Oh, Spoon Man by Soundgarden. Okay. What's the last show you binge watched? Uh, Gadfly. They're an Iranian metal punk band. Okay. Um, staying on the topic of TV, if you could write a song for any TV show, what would it be? If I could write a song for any TV show, what would it be? What would the TV show? Uh, wow. I think Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good one. It'd be cool to do simp stuff and do oh, yeah. something for that. <laughs> and the last but not least, if you can choose any two Canadian bands to tour with you, who would you choose? Ooh, I would choose uh, The Glorious Sons. Mm -hmm. um, and I would choose, ooh, this is so tough, The Beaches. <laughs> okay, that would be a good show. Yeah. Okay, now you have a chance to promote yourself, your music, your upcoming releases, your new releases, and you don't have to Zoom. Go for it. Okay. Our album, Honey. Okay, maybe I'll go a little faster than that. A um, <laughs> our new album, Honey. It's out now. It's got 12 songs. We've put our blood, sweat, and tears into it. Started recording in 2019. The pandemic hit, and we got signed in that process. The label said, hey, we can't put it out during the pandemic, so we waited on it. And then the label built. We got a bunch of support uh from publicists which is why we're able to do great interviews like this <laughs> uh the whole journey of the band has just been incredible so yeah go check out honey um it is just the it's our first ever record and we're just so excited to have it happen it's so new for us our first thing on a label ever and you know i think more opportunities are gonna come up from this whole thing and the more people listen to it the more opportunities we can have and we really want to come to different cities and play our hearts out for anyone that's watching so mm -hmm. thank you so much okay you know <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> so close uh, i was like so close you there, did you know? so good <laughs> Um, so this has been really fun. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you. 